So last week, Gio was sick, right? Joe's sick too. Casey got sick over the weekend. I'm under the weather. And then Casey got food poisoning last night. Later, me and Joe are gonna go to Casey's house and we're both highly allergic to cats. Imagine during the whole shoot, everyone's just yakking and sneezing and everyone has like red eyes and shitting through their pants. Kitty, 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 kitty. Joe, aren't you allergic to cats? Yeah. But I don't care. First, I was just looking at it and I said, fuck it, I can't take it anymore. I have to pet the baby. You were here in the kitchen. You know how like, how like, sex scenes or whatever, they would. My ring. Whoa. Who's that for? Gio. No way. Should it's uh. It's five cents. That's <laughs> <laughs> a big Bart, rock. Bart, it's, it's a big rock. rock. It's a real big rock. Cost like. Starting next week. Bart is. Or starting the week oh, after. It's five cents. Uh, really? The yeah. Week. After I think it, that looks like Joe goes like to Vegas, I think we should do like an hour or two every day. Yeah? It's pretty big. Especially I hate after diamonds. After That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage is a relationship. It's the ultimate relationship, right, that you should end up with. And hopefully, ideally, right, would be to be in one marriage all your life and not have to divorce and not have to remarry, right? So with that said, the relationship is not something that you, you just jump into and know how to work it. You know, it's it, this is a relationship is like a highly evol constantly evolving machine that that it's just it's like fucking two T1000 from Terminator, you know? Like, you can't figure it out. It's just fucking complicated. And yeah. if you think that that one relationship, or like you found the one, and you've only been together for so long or whatever, and you think, oh, it's gonna be perfect, it probably isn't. And even if you did find the perfect one, it probably isn't. There's a lot of things to work out. And I think, in fact, I would, I would condone being in a lot of relationships. I think the more relationships you are in in life, that's the more, the more practice you will get. And the more practice you will get, I think the better at relationships you will be. So for those of you that are single and say, hey, I'm just gonna be single, I'm waiting for the right one to come around, don't do that, because when you find the right one to come around, that's not gonna be the right one, because you're not ready for that right one yet, because you didn't practice relationships, communication, uh, fucking rela just relating and then knowing what to do. You know, like, there's a lot of little factors that I think is just practice. You should start maybe in your teens and don't have sex, but just practice all the other things and then 20s and then third, you know, you'll, you'll be ready when you know you're ready. I practice making babies. Yeah, no. I want the open this one. <laughs> uh, I got like a giant sheet. It's not even like this. <laughs> I'm gonna open it. You're eating uh, open. coconut bread, Cantonese style, Hong Kong style coconut bread. <sighs> okay. Carbs it's and sugar. It's delicious they're, though. They're, they're sweet and savory. No, savory means it's very flavorful. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, a heavy. Savory, you're saying it in the word. Savory flavor? Is that what you're... <laughs> what are you talking about? No, hold on. Let me look this up. Savory means salty, doesn't it? Alright, dictionary on this thing says... No, I don't know. Food. Belonging okay. to the category that is salty or spicy rather than sweet. Yeah, so. it's not sweet. No one... Who goes on the dictionary during a shoot? You just proved yourself to be a humongous nerd. A human moron. <laughs> no, I'm just being a, a knowledgeable person that has an extensive vocabulary. Yeah. He has more than five words. But he has big vocabulary because he's never. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, Monica? Yeah. Daniel's some? right! Do you want some? Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, okay. All right, all right. I got the camera. I can't touch me. <laughs> and another thing! I've never met anyone who's ruined the whole company in two days! I can't believe this shit! Get out of here! And you can't sue me either, because I'm not white! And another thing, if I catch you sleeping with any more of my employees, guess what? I'm gonna call your mother, all the other companies, make sure you'll never get a job in this city again! That's right! I've never met anyone that took three days to write a one-sentence email! That's right! I've never met anyone who took a whole week to write a one-sentence email! Who does that? When is a good time and when is a good time to appropriation for the marriage? Every time is party time. You do it when you're born. You do it when you're old. You do it when you're young. <laughs> you marriage. 
everybody, anytime, any place, romance for the dance. When it's appropriate for them, that's when it would be the right time. I can't be the time judge of when you should be married because it's not up to me, it's up to you. One time, I proposed to a girl in elementary school because I didn't want to be her boyfriend. I wanted her to marry me. So I got married at a very young age. Now, I don't know if we got officially divorced because I never seen her after the third grade, but that's what happened. Marriage. I don't know. I, I never really put any deep thought into it. It's just because uh, right now I'm not at the time and place in life to be t thinking about it seriously. I mean, eventually, maybe one day I will. Maybe I won't ever. But when the time comes, that's when I'll seriously put some thought into it. But as of now, I'm too busy making y'all motherfuckers laugh. And. Thanks to you guys, I'm gonna be a lonely motherfucker with no wife because all I'm doing all day long is making jokes and jokes and jokes. And I'm gonna be an old wrinkle ass raisin. It's gonna take forever to bounce. I got someone waiting. <laughs> hurry, 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 hurry! Whoa! Guy. Hmm? My thoughts have actually changed, or my thoughts on marriage have actually changed as I got older. So when I was like in high school and stuff, I did not want to get married at all. I was like, I'm gonna be an independent woman. I don't want kids. I don't want marriage. I don't want that life at all. I just want a career and just make money and live awesome. I will wait. Uh, when I got to college, then I was like, all right, now my opinions on marriage changed. I actually believe in marriage right now, and I want to get married. I want to have kids. I want to be a stay-at-home mom. I want, like, all this stuff, right? But now that I've been doing JK, and I've been, like, you know, uh, I have, like, my own, like, business now that it's... I want kids, and I want marriage and stuff, but then I'm like... But I also want to see how my business might flourish and where I can take this. And, like, you know, when you get married your family and stuff expects you to have kids and whatever so then you're just like damn i think i gotta start pumping out some kids soon and also i'm a girl so we have like a biological clock or whatever but other than like the biological clock because i do want kids aspect of it um i can really care less about marriage now because it's like it's just honestly it's just a piece of paper that's telling you that okay the state of California recognizes that you guys can now get some sort of tax dedu deduction like for me that doesn't mean anything yeah like marriage to me is not a big deal the idea of marriage and loyalty and spending the rest of your life with this one person that is what I believe in so I guess the loyalty aspect of it is what I really believe in but other than that I don't need a state telling me that my love for this other person is is real or not Stop it! No! Baby! You complete me! Oh my god! You complete me! I know! I know! I know! I know! What did you do? I know! I know! I know! I know! Personally, I don't know if it's the right time. I think it's a matter of connection and trust and commitment. I don't think it's like a lot of people, they have like, oh yeah, when I'm 25, I'm gonna get married. Or like, after I get my college degree and I've been in the workforce for three years, I'm gonna get married. There's no time like that. Like, what if you finally meet the love of your life and then she breaks your heart? Or like, let's say you're, you wanted to, you planned for this, but you had a kid early or your parents like passed away. You're like, there's too many things that are going on. You can't put a specific number on it. Marriage, since you're gonna spend the rest of your life together, I think it's much more of how committed you are. Are you down to not be having sex with anybody else? Are you down to make your girlfriend or boyfriend your life partner where you're gonna trust them with everything? Where where you where you can bend over and spread your ass cheeks and show her your asshole and she can do the same to you and you guys can high five about it? Are you guys down to have joint bank accounts and like 
the you know, like be ride or die like with each other. That to me is, if you're down for that and you don't fight over some like junior high shit or like, you know, like what's more important is us rather than the individual, then I think you're ready. Sometimes people get there in like two months. Sometimes people need like eight relationships and then finally they break up and date two other people and then come back and then it finally works. It's all different. What up y'all? So the next few minutes you'll be watching is shot by Joe. Besides the questions, because I shot the questions. But everything else is shot by Joe, so I don't know what... Just, you can see a bunch of random shit. Day three. Still sick. Coughing all over the place. Olivia was really nice and like a mom and she made like this juice for me with a whole bunch of green shit and stuff. So hopefully that'll make me feel better. But yeah, day three, day three shooting. Right, because people just stand there doing nothing. Right, what, what, what are you reading? Now you're being nosy. So it's time to you're a That's fire movement. There's a cholo on the street. There's a cholo on the street. There's a cholo on the street. There's a cholo in the street. There's a cholo in the street.